Hey guys, I'm Nate Tennant with Gold Seal, and today I wanted to break down the new FAA regulations regarding unmanned aircraft systems, or UAS. We've been calling them UAVs or drones or whatever you want to call them. It's the new regulations regarding these things. So there's a lot of confusion and misinformation out there right now and in regards to what it means to you recreationally and commercially. So I wanted to take a minute to kind of break down what that means. The FAA regulations, or the FARS, Federal Aviation Regulations, they break down the two separate sides of flying. We've got Part 61, which is flying things like this, these manned aircrafts, and now we've got the new 107, which is going to be unmanned aircraft. That's important to you because you, as an unmanned aircraft pilot, are going to have to know the regulations in order to fly legally and safely. So recreationally, let's pretend that Christmas time you got a new drone from Weird Uncle Steve. What does that mean to you? Now, if it's less than 0.55 pounds, you don't have to do anything. You can take it out of the box, go outside, go flying, and you'll never have a problem with the FAA. But if it's more than 0.55 pounds, then you're going to have to register it. Now you can find out if your drone is more than 0.55 pounds by either weighing it yourself, or you can go online and look up the model, or you can check on the box. If it's more than 55 pounds, you go online, which we'll provide a link to on the bottom of the page here, and go through the registration process on the FAA. It costs five bucks, takes about 10 minutes, and it's super easy, and it's a heck of a lot easier than the $27,000 fine that'll come from unregulated violations. Now, that doesn't mean that you're not required to follow FAA regulations. So, the FAA has come out with a new app. It's free. It's called Before You Fly, and we'll put a link to that at the bottom of the page as well. And that'll let you know, based on your location, if you're in compliance with all the safety and FAA regulation rules in your area. So let's switch gears. Let's talk about the commercial pilots that want to turn their passions into money. You guys are going to have to do a little bit more. You're going to need one of these. Now, that's a pilot certificate. If you are already a Part 61 pilot with a current pilot certificate and are current, then all you have to do is go online and take a quick test, and then you can go ahead and get your UAS certificate mailed to you. If you do not already have a Part 61 pilot certificate, then you have to do a little bit more. You have to go to an authorized testing facility, take a 60-question test, costs about 150 bucks, takes around two hours to complete, um, and then you're good to go. You'll have your airman certificate sent to you in the mail. If you don't pass the test, it's no big deal. You have to get a 70 to pass, and you can take it again in 14 days. Now, as far as the subject matter of the test, the test is going to cover operating rules, federal regulations, airspace, class, and rules, weather and weather's effect on performance, weight and balance and its effect on performance, radio communications, airport operations, emergency procedures, and aeronautical decision making. Now, that sounds like a lot and can be super daunting if this is something you've never done before, but fear not. There are places that'll help you. Gold Seal has a great online course that'll get you where you need to be to take the test and answer any questions you may have along the way. We've provided a link below, let you know anything that you may need, and I'll be happy to answer any comments you may have in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and keep flying.